All right, so what we have here is our carport. So timber frame carport that we see here. And as you can see up top, it is our frameless modules. So it looks very cool. A little bit more expensive, a little bit more work to install as we really do have to line up the holes with the racking system. Um, but what you can see up on the top is that in between all the seams, there's a little bit of a taped edge. So it is waterproof. It is, uh, you know, rated for hail and all that. So we can park our car under here. So come on under here and take a look. We, these are actually wired in a string situation. So all 10 modules are wired in series with another. So giving us about 400 volts DC where they come up to that roof junction box up there that we can see. Uh, the DC comes into that. And then what we have going into the building is a armored cable that goes into the building because it is now that high voltage DC. So it has to be in a metal armored cable. Uh, goes into the building and ties into our string inverter, which we'll go take a look at in a couple minutes. Right, so our carport, as we saw, it comes in here in this armored cable comes into our inverter. So this is a Fronius. I think it's a three or four kilowatt inverter, um, right? We get a lot of options here on the screen. Um, this one right now says low PV voltage and we'll kind of talk about that right at the end of the video. So it goes into our inverter in DC, right? We got the 400 ish volts DC coming in and then coming here in AC, which could be any cabling, but here we've just used conduit, comes down into this here. This is a cool piece of equipment. This is actually a grid tied battery charger inverter rectifier. So it is AC in from there. It actually puts it back into DC to charge the batteries where it can then also pull power from the batteries and insert it back or, and invert it back into AC. So then we can have AC coming out and it's actually powering our critical loads panel. So these will stay on even in the event of a power loss and they'll still get power from our solar grid. Uh, what we also see is the battery bank. Um, so if you look at the battery bank here, this one's nothing too special, but we've just got four uh, car batteries basically in series, 12 volts each, giving us that 48 volts. You can see the heavy duty cable coming in. You can see the heavy duty cable kind of linking them all together. And it's in this nice styrofoam uh, box just to keep them insulated and above zero degrees. So that's kind of that. And yeah, that's kind of everything to do with the carport, kind of a cool situation. Uh, this, all of this equipment here could be replaced with something like a Tesla Powerwall, actually for a similar price because we've kind of actually got two inverters going on here. So quite a bit of equipment going on. But yeah, so we'll head back outside and we'll talk about why it's actually not producing any voltage right now. Okay. So kind of a funny thing about this install, right? We can see it all, it looks very good. But the funny thing about this one, like we saw on the inverter inside, it has a low PV module voltage. Well, that's because if we look up here, we can see that the soffit and the overhang from the roof is actually shading part of the module. So we actually get zero production out of this because as they're in the string, one of the one third of all those modules is pretty much always cut out from the sun. So especially with the string system, you really, really want to pay close attention to how we're installing this to make sure we get enough output. This system here gives us zero output. So I would say might as well just put a plexiglass roof over your carport and not spend the money on the solar.